I'm down here at Specialized Sales and Leasing in Salt Lake City. I am so excited for today's video. Be sure to follow Specialized on Instagram. Check out their inventory. They have some insane, insane cars. Thank you guys so much for this opportunity to film these two cars. We have the new 2017 Acura NSX and the new Audi R8 V10. This is such, this is the perfect, the perfect compare contrast video because from a styling perspective, I mean, look at these two cars. They are nearly a mirror image of each other. Seeing this car in the flesh though, I see a lot of design cues from a lot of exotic cars. Here on the front end, I totally see McLaren 650S. You guys have probably seen the meme of the Nissan GTR and the BMW i8 having a baby, and then of course showing the NSX. Also, I kind of see a little Ford GT, the new Ford GT right there. This is kind of my first time checking out an NSX, um, so I apologize for the excitement, but uh, it's really a pretty cool car. And as far as price range, I mean, these cars are direct competitors. Base MSRP, they're both right around 150 to 200,000. I know that's a big spread, but with options, I mean, these cars with options, they can be so, so much money. But this is so exciting. So, Specialized is going to take me for a test drive in both of these cars. Kind of find out my impressions of the two. I'm so excited. I don't know, guys, what do you think? If you had the money, would you buy? An R8 or an NSX? I think the restyling on this car has been a little bit controversial, but in the flesh, guys, I think it looks pretty good. I was skeptical as well when I first saw the renderings. Of course, the iconic R8 side blade no longer exists. The back end of the car has been squared off a little bit. But my favorite part of the new R8 is this interior. Oh, the smell. The smell of that leather, guys, is so good. I wish I could convey it to you guys somehow. Have the quilted leather interior. Looks so nice. Even have the quilted headliner there in Alcantara. The steering wheel there with the start engine stop button, kind of like Ferraris. Pretty crazy door handles. Let's see if I can open this. This is the first time. There we go. Have the red leather, the Alcantara inserts, the red stitching. The interior on this car is very futuristic. Have the cup holders right there that kind of float. Very cool. This car smells pretty good. But I think the, the R8 is gonna win the smell test. One point for the R8. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Got the carbon there on the steering wheel. There on the dash up there as well. All right, guys, so this is John. He works for Specialized, and thank you so much for allowing this opportunity. This is cool. This is my first time in the new R8. I mean, I haven't been in an R8 since I test drove the black one here yeah. this time last year. Oh. I already can tell. I haven't been in the NSX. I haven't been in it yet. But the sound of this V10, the naturally aspirated V10, Sounds good. you can't replace it. Like, you cannot replace it. <laughs> I love 
the interior on this car. Like, the old R8, I don't know, it, it reminded me of an A4. And yeah, a six. It, did, it did. This this interior is separate. This and, is separate. And separate. the digital display. The digital right? display, like these these like floating knobs or whatever, yeah, those really are cool. really cool. Oh yeah, this thing can get up in a hurry. So this has the 5.2 liter V10, produces 533 horsepower. Of course, all the R8s now have the double clutch transmission. So the speed is uh, instantaneous. Wow. I love that digital display. That is so futuristic. It's so cool. You turn the cages and everything. Oh, yeah. Cool. <laughs> this does zero to 60 in three and a half seconds. Um, and it's so easy. It's yes. so instant. Oh, yeah, and those downshifts. Mm. This car is comfortable. Like yeah, it is. It's just like sink into the seats. And it drives like smooth. Yeah, this is such a different feel. Like you you feel really low, I think because of the center console yeah. how it's raised up. I really like the seating position though. So this is a totally different car in a lot of ways compared to the R8 yeah. because this car is a hybrid. Hybrid, yeah. So this has the three and a half liter twin turbo V6 but it also has the three electric motors. Which make 74 horsepower. Right, and so combined, 573 horsepower. Yeah. Um, so performance-wise, horsepower numbers, this actually has more horsepower than that R8 V10. There's also the V10 Plus, um, which has more horsepower than this. Oh, that does sound really good. That does sound really good. That is fun. Uh, you can feel it in the back. Electric motor kicks in. Yeah, right, yeah. You can feel it. Yeah, it definitely has a totally different feel. <laughs> you can hear the turbos that go mm -hmm. off while. But it is really comfy though. Yeah, it is. I could see, I mean, road trips, you could totally yeah. go on this thing for a long time. And because it's the hybrid, it gets decent mileage, and you can actually run this car in fully electric mode. Yep. And it charges pretty quick, you can, as you drive it charges. Well this has the regenerative braking, yep. and it also has uh, the torque vectoring as well. So this car, both this car and the R8 are both all-wheel drive. <laughs> I think I like this car more. I wasn't expecting that. I was supposed to like the R8. This whole video, this isn't going as planned guys. I was supposed to like the R8. I know, that's so weird though. I think it's just, once you drive it, it makes you feel different. Yeah, it does. It, there's like drama somehow. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Yeah, so this car is all wheel drive. And so you guys know that that is very important to me living up in Park City in the wintertime, all-wheel drive is like a necessity for me. Wow. So right now it's in quiet mode and just like... Okay. And quiet mode is not actually fully electric. It yeah. just, it's quiet mode. It, 
you can't go above, I think, 4,000. Yeah, it just keeps the RPM low. Yeah. And then you can see the battery's charged. Okay, and now we're in fully electric. You could hear yeah. the engine shut off. Wow, this is such a weird sensation. Yep, I think it's fair to say that the R8 definitely sounds better, but it's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> Acura, what? I wasn't supposed to like this car so much. I mean, when I arrived at Specialized this morning, I'm thinking R8, NSX, but this car is just downright impressive. I mean, I'm thinking, okay, it has the 3.5 liter, the twin turbo, probably gonna have some turbo lag, but because of those electric motors, the power band is just completely consistent. I mean, there's instantaneous power at any point in the RPM range. Wow. I think my biggest issue with this car is the price. It is a little bit steep, but it's pretty awesome looking too. Wow, Acura. I am thoroughly impressed. So we gotta take one more look at some of these cars the R8 GT, the Pirelli edition of Entador. I think this, this is one of my favorite iterations of the R8. Of course, 333 of them in the world. The copper orange, and then the Pirelli edition of Entador have the red pinstriping. I love the carbon bits on this R8. The bare carbon side blade, the carbon rear wing, and then of course, the Pirelli edition of Ventador. Seeing it in yellow is wow. I mean, there's so many white ones out there. It's very cool. And then the AMG GT, and of course, the R8 that we just took a ride in. I don't know, guys. If I had 200 grand, would I buy this car or the NSX? I don't know, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I mean, the sound on this car, yes, definitely. But everything else, I don't know. I don't know. The Veneno Coupe, he's also added a Veneno Roadster to his collection. So, I'm taking a leap of faith. I'm hoping. I know it's not gonna be, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be there. That is the only reason, that is the only reason